Hello, in this video I'd like to show you why sine A plus B is equal to sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. Now before we begin, please take a look at this diagram here to your left and see if all its contents are correct. If you're satisfied with this drawing, please continue watching this video. Now the first thing we need to know is what is sine A plus B? So we're going to put opposite over hypotenuse here. Now if you look at the triangle OPR and look at this angle here, we can see that, it, that this angle is A plus B. We can see that the opposite side is PR. So we're going to put PR here and we can see that the hypotenuse of this triangle is 1. So we're going to put 1 here. So we know that sine a plus b equals pr. So we know the first part of the equation. Next we need to know what sine a is. So let's put opposite over hypotenuse here. And let's look at the triangle OPQ with an angle A. We can see that it's got an angle A. So the opposite of this triangle OPQ is PQ. And the hypotenuse of it is 1. Therefore, sine A equals PQ. Since we know that sine A is PQ, let's write this down over here. So PQ is sine A. Now, what we need to know next is what cos A is. So let's write down cos A and let's put adjacent over hypotenuse. So once again, we're going to look at the triangle OPQ. And the adjacent of this triangle is OQ. So I'll put OQ up here. And the hypotenuse is 1. So therefore, cos A equals OQ. Since we know that this is the case, I'm going to write cos A over here. And this cos A is OQ. OK, now we're going to have to find out what cos B is. So let's write down cos B and adjacent over hypotenuse. We're going to need a new triangle to do this and that triangle is going to be PTQ which has an angle B. Now if we look at the triangle PTQ its adjacent is PT. So we're going to put PT up here and its hypotenuse is sine A. Right? Now if we multiply this fraction by sine A, we have to multiply cos B by sine A. Therefore, sine A cos B equals PT. So, we're getting closer to proving why sine A plus B equals sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. OK, we're almost there, but not quite. Now we have to find out what sine B is. So let's write down sine B. And let's write down opposite over hypotenuse. Now to find sine B, we are going to use the triangle OQS. That's OQS. You can see that the angle here is B. Now the opposite of the triangle OQS is QS. So we'll put QS here. And its hypotenuse is cos A. So we're going to put cos A over here. Now, if we multiply this fraction by cos A, we also have to multiply sine B by cos A. Therefore, we get cos a times sine B equals 
Q S. Okay, now that we've got everything we need, we can prove that sine A plus B equals sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. We can prove this by saying that PR is equal to PT plus QS. Now, let's look at PR for a moment. PR is this line that goes all the way down to the line L. It's perpendicular to the line L. Now, PR is made up of PT plus TR. But we can see that TR is the same length as QS. Therefore, PR equals PT plus QS. And because of this, we can say that sine A plus B, which is PR up here, we can see that, equals PT, and PT is sine A cos B, as we can see here. So plus QS, and we know that QS is cos A times sin B. So here is your proof that sine A plus B equals sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. If you have any questions, please leave your comments below and I'll try to reply to them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.